This is Gadget Stop 321. In today's video, I'm taking a look at the last in the series I've been doing on mini mechanical pencils. This is the Pilot Birdie Switch, and it's called the Switch because it's got a 0.5 mechanical pencil as well as a 0.7 ballpoint pen. Now, so far in this series, we've had the smallest, the Oto Minimo, and then we had the Zebra TS3. And we had the Platinum Mini Pencil. And the Pilot Birdie Switch is similar in length, maybe just a hair longer than the Platinum Mini Pencil. But it's closer in diameter. It's smaller. It has a smaller diameter than the Platinum Mini Pencil. It's closer in diameter. In fact, it may be exactly the same diameter as the Zebra TS3. Now, as far as price goes, let me bring out my notes. The Birdie Switch I got from Amazon a few days ago for six dollars and twenty nine cents so that means it's kind of in between the least expensive surprisingly was the platinum mini pencil and it's a well-made pencil and the most expensive probably not surprisingly since you know this one was probably more difficult to make uh, the Oto Minimo was the most expensive it was a little bit over seven dollars so this one's right in the middle of the group. Uh, the pros of this pencil are, you know, obviously if you're looking for a mini pencil, this is a small pencil, so it's portable. Um, it includes a pen, and the nice thing about the pen is when you take the cap off the pen end, you can just put it on the pencil. Just make sure you have the pencil lid retracted and that's nice and out of the way. Now your clip is down here where you're going to be gripping it to use the pen, but for me anyway that doesn't, it's not a problem. The clip is so small it just, if you position it in between a space in your grip, it just isn't a problem at all. Um, let's see, speaking of the pen, uh, I'm not a big fan of ballpoint pens. I'm going to zoom in a little bit. But this pen writes really smooth. I was, I was really impressed with it. Uh, it doesn't look like a .7. I'm used to a .7 gel pen, which is a, a little bit broader than this. But this is really smooth. I was um, happy with it. The downside is, um, at least on this, this smooth uh, Rhodia paper, it skipped a little bit. But Rhodia is known for being super smooth. It skipped on that R. Let's see. Where else did it skip? Well, I'm not all on this F. No. Oh, up here on refill it skipped a little bit but this is super smooth paper so I wouldn't anticipate that being too much of an issue um, let's see this the the ink while we're talking about the pen the ink only comes in black and the refill is pretty small but since this is ballpoint ink, ballpoint ink tends to go a little bit farther than, say, gel ink does. Um, so I don't know how much of an issue that's going to be. I'm just going to have to test it. And it only comes in black. I was kind of hoping you could get a red refill and use it kind of like as a highlighter for the pencil, circling stuff while you're making notes. But um, it's only available in black, which which isn't bad, you know, you, 
if you need a, a pen in a pinch to sign something, that's, a, that's nice to have. It came with two leads, and I'm a fan of whatever lead came in this pencil. It's a nice lead, not too hard, not too soft. It writes nice and dark. Uh, I like it. This pencil is fully disassemblable, so I'm going to go ahead and take it apart. This is the most disassemblable of any of the pencils I've looked at. The body's all metal. Um, now you've got to watch it when you turn it upside down. The whole thing slides out, which I might as well go ahead and do that. The clutch is brass, so that's nice. Um, so you can just take the whole thing apart. Um, let's see. So this is, this is nice Pilot build quality. I'm a fan of the Pilot brand of writing instruments. I've never had any issues and even on inexpensive products, they are just very high quality. Um, some more of the cons, since you've got a, a pin down here, you're not going to have an eraser. And I, you know, I thought about, you know, how big of a con is that really? Because um, the, the mini pencils, the other two mini pencils that included erasers, the erasers are so small that if I'm going to anticipate needing to erase very much, I'm going to have to bring a dedicated eraser either. You're not going to be erasing very much with these two. But then again, with a mini pencil like this, you're not going to be writing a novel or anything. You're just going to be using it for short little notes, maybe putting an entry in a planner or adding uh, something to a shopping list. So, you know, maybe a, an eraser is not a, a, a something that you must have in this case. Uh, but if you need to sign something, you know, having a pen handy would be necessary. So maybe it is good to have the pen here at the end instead of an eraser. Um, the clip's kind of ugly. I'm not a big fan of the clip on this. The clip is really, really, it's a tight clip. And uh, you can't, you can't pinch it up. My favorite clip of all these mini pencils was the platinum. You know, the clip's high enough and it's a it's a tight enough clip, but you can pinch it. So if you're needing to um let me show you on my planner here. Okay, on this one the uh the pin loop is kind of a flimsy elastic and if you try to just, you know, clip it like that, it's not going to work. You have to give it a little pinch, and it slides right on, and that's nice. With the Pilot Birdie switch, you can't pinch it. You have to get your fingernails under there, and I don't like that. But if you've got a firmer pin loop, like this Leuch Term um, adhesive pin loop, it's made out of a firmer elastic. It works just fine. I mean, and it clips on there tightly. You don't have to worry about it going anywhere. So, really the main downer about the clip for me is that I just think it's kind of ugly. You know, this end's not too bad. That looks okay. But this end where it's attached just looks a little unfinished. That's really aesthetically the only... Thing I don't like about this pen. Um, let's see. The, the only other cons are the uh, pen refill is so small, but you know, it's a mini pencil. You don't really have room for anything bigger. Um, a big part of writing experience for a pencil is the lead. You can really adjust 
uh, how well you like or dislike a pencil by the lead quality and the lead grade that you're using. Like I mentioned before, I really like the lead that came in this. It's the diameter is just slightly smaller than I would like, but the pencil lead, I didn't have to really grip it hard because the pencil lead wrote so smoothly and I, you know, it's a nice dark writing lead. So that's something to take into consideration with any pencil. You can adjust the writing experience by adjusting the lead. Um, I really like this pencil. I'm looking forward to using it. So if you found this video helpful, please give me a thumbs up. And if you would like to see more videos like this, please subscribe to my channel.